Tesla recently filed a new permit with the city of Austin, Texas for a project codenamed Bobcat at Terra Factory, Texas. Let's talk about what Project Bobcat is likely all about and why it matters. I'm Jonathan and welcome to Cleaner Watt. The Austin Business Journal recently put out this article talking about how Tesla plans to build another industrial facility near the factory they're building in Austin, Texas. I went to the official government website for the city of Austin and I was able to pull up this particular permit application with the project name Bobcat. This permit application is for the address 13100 Harold Green Road in Austin, Texas. And although Tesla as a company is not specifically mentioned in this particular application, the applicant, Logan Grant, according to his LinkedIn profile, is a staff civil engineer at Tesla. Tesla definitely has a history of codenaming their new projects, and often the codename itself actually gives a huge clue into what the project is all about. Now, when it comes to trying to decipher what this project Bobcat is all about, I did find a few users on the Tesla Motors Cub forum, and several of them, and I believe this is probably accurate, believe that Bobcat refers to battery cathode. The forum member Ajax mentioned that Project Tiger is what Tesla called Gigafactory Nevada when that was in development. Project Roadrunner referred to the Pilot 4680 battery line at the factory in Fremont. Another recent project codename that Tesla had was Project Palladium, which of course referred to the Plaid Model S and X refresh. So I don't know about you, but I'm definitely seeing a trend with how Tesla codenames their battery projects with animal names. So it seems very likely that this Project Bobcat is referring to Tesla's new manufacturing processes for their battery cathodes. I talked about this briefly in a recent video where I talked about how Tesla purchased some patent applications from a company called Spring Power International, and we also talked about how they likely purchased this company as well. I definitely recommend that you watch that video if you're curious to dive a little more into these patents that Tesla purchased and also the company Spring Power, but I'd like to give a brief overview and dive into some aspects of the cathode production that I didn't cover in that video. So at Battery Day, Tesla put up this particular slide showing the traditional cathode manufacturing process. They also put up this slide showing the new Tesla cathode manufacturing process. Now I will recommend that if you want a really technical deep dive into Tesla's new cathode manufacturing process, that you check out this video by The Limiting Factor. This video does a really good job diving into the various aspects of Tesla's cathode production process in great detail. But basically, in summary, Tesla's new cathode manufacturing process eliminates the need for nickel sulfate production. Also, this new process that doesn't need the metal sulfites uses less raw materials, eliminates a lot of the chemicals needed, and uses a lot less water. When it comes to the actual cathode production itself, it takes a lot less production processes to make the cathode. Also, this new process eliminates all the wastewater and byproducts from cathode production. So as I mentioned in the past video, not only is this process more environmentally friendly, but it also costs less as well. So this allows for the 4680 batteries to be cheaper, like Tesla talked about. The reason this news is really exciting, and if Project Bobcat actually refers to Tesla's new battery cathode manufacturing process, is because this cathode process is a huge part of Tesla manufacturing the 4680 battery cells. This means that Tesla is taking one more big step towards mass production of these batteries. Tesla is also taking other steps like hiring new people for their cell shop at Gigafactory Austin as well, like this particular one for a cell shop senior leader at Gigafactory Texas. Now when it comes to how well Tesla is coming along with the development of the 4680 battery cells, this is what Elon Musk had to say in the Q1 2021 conference call. We, we have the uh, a small sort of pilot plant, which is still big by normal standards, Expect to have like a 10 gigawatt per year, gigawatt hour per year capability uh, in um, Fremont, California, um, and uh, we've made quite a few cells. Um, we're not we're not quite yet at the point where we think the cells are re reliable enough to be shipped in cars, um, but we're getting close to that point. 
Um, and um, and then we're, we're, we've already, uh, you know, uh, ordered um, most of the equipment for battery production uh, in uh, Berlin, uh, and uh, and then and, and then much of it for Austin as well. So we're, we're really down to like the nitty gritty elements. Um, but overall, I think we're still sort of quite optimistic about uh, this achieving volume production of the 4680 next year. This is just a guess because we don't know for sure, but it appears as though we're about 12, but probably not more than 18 months away from volume production of the 4680. So in 12 to 18 months, according to Elon Musk, we should see volume production of the 4680 battery cells at the Gigafactory or Terrafactory Texas, if you will, and also in the factory in Berlin. Now, Tesla definitely has a lot riding on the success of these 4680 batteries. The Tesla Cybertruck will have these 4680 batteries. The Tesla Semi is made possible by the 4680 batteries. The Plaid Plus Model S will have 4680 batteries. The new Tesla Roadster will have 4680 batteries. And also the structural battery pack itself that will be found in the Model Y 2.0 is reliant on the 4680 batteries as well. When it comes to the progress of the rest of Tesla's Austin factory, as you can see by this recent drone footage by Jeff Roberts, the factory is really starting to take shape. When it comes to the timing of actual vehicle production out of this factory, Elon seems pretty confident that we could see limited production of the Model Y in Austin, Texas as soon as late this year. When you consider that this project was started in July of 2020, production this year would be very impressive. When it comes to the Tesla Cybertruck production timeline estimates as well, Tesla's website still shows a late 2021 delivery estimate for the Cybertruck. However, because there are so many new processes in manufacturing this particular truck, I expect that we'll actually see Cybertruck production in 2022. So in conclusion, Tesla is marching forward and seems to be making good progress towards mass production of the 4680 battery cells. Project Bobcat seems to be another large step in Tesla's journey towards transitioning the world to sustainable transportation. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button because it helps other people find that video as well. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much.